really wanna come and check on accuracy. I really want to see good punches. There we go. Touch him up. That's it. Precision. That's precise. You got more. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Let's be smart with our punches. I want to see a high accuracy rate. There we go, nice shot. No. Good punch. Great target. Beautiful. Pinpoint. You really touched them up out there. to 
Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC light heavyweight division title. All right, here he is making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new UFC light heavyweight champion. He is the number one ranked 205 pound contender and is finally realizing the title fight here tonight. He believes he has a lot of advantages in this fight. He believes he's the better man. Look at the confidence on his face. No UFC jitters for this man. He is out to prove tonight that this champion is a one trick pony and that he is the best light heavyweight on the planet. We'll see if he can turn those words into actions here in short order. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. So here he is, the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, looking to walk out the same way he is walking in tonight as the undisputed reigning defending champion. No doubt this man walks in as the best 205 pounder in the world. He proved it when he won the belt, proved it when he has defended it since. Now the question is, as the challenges get stiffer, Joe, is he still the best in the world? A lot of people think he is. We'll get our answer in short order. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight title fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. <laughs> UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go fight. down right now. Landed that one. Punch coming. It's blocked. Beautiful hand skills here. The right, then the left. And he eats a right hand there. Lands a big right hand early. Oh! 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 That's a big punch from the clinch. Back up to his feet. He didn't miss with that uppercut. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. 
I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Oh! We tagged him in the left. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Up to his feet. Oh, straight right. That knee might have landed there. Oh, big left. They continue to exchange. Oh, oh good left huge hand. Huge left hand. Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Oh. Oh. He's in big trouble. Oh. He's out. He's out. He's no. out. Do it. Beautiful accuracy on the right hand for the victory. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there, Joe. Landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Caught him right there, had him in all sorts of trouble. Look at this. And he's out. And there is the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. The celebration continues after the big knockout win to get the job done tonight. We go back inside the Ladies octagon for the official decision. Game. It resides the with the first contest At two minutes, five seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion. Well, he came in as the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion, and after that result, he goes out the way he came in. And still, ladies and gentlemen, and nice to see this moment now as he celebrates with his corner. That was as dominating a title defense as we've seen thus far this year as he knocks out the number one contender and really, in so doing, sends a message to the other contender types at 205 pounds that it's going to take your best night and best performance. And even then, I'm still probably walking out with my belt.
next, a matchup for the UFC light heavyweight division title. All right, here he is making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new UFC light heavyweight champion. He is the number one ranked 205 pound contender and is finally realizing the title fight here tonight. He believes he has a lot of advantages in this fight. He believes he's the better man. Look at the confidence on his face. No UFC jitters for this man. He is out to prove tonight that this champion is a one trick pony and that he is the best light heavyweight on the planet. We'll see if he can turn those words into actions here in short order. So here he is, the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, looking to walk out the same way he is walking in tonight as the undisputed reigning defending champion. No doubt this man walks in as the best 205 pounder in the world. He proved it when he won the belt, proved it when he has defended it since. Now the question is, as the challenges get stiffer, Joe, is he still the best in the world? A lot of people think he is. We'll get our answer in short order. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Johnson is eight years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Smirgliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 79 wins, 27 losses. He stands six feet two inches tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton Pilata, presenting the challenger, Anthony Rumba Johnson. And now he's the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 41 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Hercules. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. All right, here we go. Doesn't get much bigger than this. Five rounds if needed. Oh! the victory early in the first. Yeah, Joe, that was the perfect shot right there. We didn't even get a feeling out process here tonight, and we say it all the time. Sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly had a huge impact here tonight as he gets the win by first round KO. And here we see it again. Boom! And then he's out. And there is the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. The celebration continues after the big knockout win to get the job done tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at 
eight seconds of the very first round. He's going to the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Hercules. Well, he came in as the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion, and after that result, he goes out the way he came in, and still, ladies and gentlemen, and nice to see this moment now as he celebrates with his corner. That was as dominating a title defense as we've seen thus far this year as he knocks out the number one contender, and really, in so doing, sends a message to the other contender types at 205 pounds that it's gonna take your best night and best performance, and even then, I'm still probably walking out with my belt. job done than he did tonight by knockout. And here's the end of the fight. And here we see the spectacular bomb that he landed to retain his world. Yo. I came to do damage, not hurt anybody. In the same club that used to turf everybody. I put in 25 hours, I outworked everybody. Turn down big money, I know my worth. I'm not anybody, don't let them hold you down. I'm from the bottom, that's where they hold you down. Sink or swim, don't you drown. I'm with my circle, let's go do rounds. Do what you want, I do what I want, I know. You are who you really are when you're alone. But I stay so solid with the bros, hyped up, oh. Turn up the baseline. I don't ever watch no face, even when I'm on FaceTime. Give me more time. All I want to see is tears of joy, that's a war cry. And we all die, but when you're living like me, they'll want your life. Seek and you'll find, can't run or hide, cause time isn't on your side. Powers.